So rapamycin is a small molecule inhibitor of mTOR, and it has been shown, you know, in yeast and worms and flies and mice to extend lifespan. And in mice, I would say now there are at least a dozen groups that have seen lifespan extension and probably two dozen that have seen various health span metrics improved during aging with rapamycin in mice. So it is, you know, it's kind of like, I don't, I, I don't know how familiar you are with, with C. elegans, but anybody who's a C. elegans aging person will get this. It's kind of like the DAF2 of C. elegans, where it works for everybody, it works robustly. So for me, that gives me a ton of confidence that there's something real here. I, I think we still don't know, and it would be dishonest to say otherwise, we still don't know to what extent will rapamycin or other strategies for inhibiting mTOR affect aging in people or in pet dogs, which is another area that I'm interested in. But in mice, at least, it's rock solid, crystal clear. Rapamycin has broad effects on health during aging and increases lifespan, you know, at least across the three or four different genetic backgrounds where it's been tested. I would say that is another uh, missing piece of the puzzle. Nobody has yet really tried to look across many different genetic backgrounds in mice to see, you know, where does rapamycin work well, where maybe doesn't it work well. It's also possible that in some cases it might even be harmful, right? And that's something that we don't typically do in the aging field, in part because, you know, aging studies in mice are expensive and take a long time. So it's it's understandable that we don't typically look at interaction with genotype, but, uh, but nobody's done that really with rapamycin, broadly speaking, yet. And I think there's reason why that that should be done because we know with caloric restriction, at least, that there's a big effect of genetic background on the impact that caloric restriction has on lifespan. So it it, it might be the case that that's true also for rapamycin and, and just it just hasn't been done yet. So, but 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 the reason why I'm so excited about it is it works for everybody, it works robustly, and it seems to broadly impact health across lots of different tissues and organs in a mouse during aging. And so it seems to be impacting health span, not just one disease or not just lifespan.